To get the white, I used an oil-based cream from Butrix. And the red is a lipstick from Maybelline, who's called Super Stay. And this is the products, and this is the final result. For my foundation, I used my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And to note, I have already moisturized my face, instead of using a primer. To set my foundation, I used my Makeup Store's Translucent Powder. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. This is my second attempt of doing a clown makeup. And that's why I have this left, uh, because this I liked. And I prepped my face with foundation and translucent powder already. And this look is gonna be like red and blue th themed. And I just wanted to say like a quick thank you to you guys because I've got so much positive responses from you and you've been like writing to me and it means it's like I get so I get so happy because it, it, your support means a lot. It's like I'm happy for it. If you have any suggestions of what I should do next, please leave a comment down below or on my Instagram. And follow if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please click the link in the corner to come to my Instagram instantly and follow me there. So let, let's get this video started. To start the contour, I took my black eyeshadow and put it on my cheekbones. And to further contour my face, I took a warmer red and contoured both my forehead and my cheekbones. Plus some on my jaw to make it look more sharper. For my brows, I used my Makeup Store's Trio Brow in the middle color. My first eyeshadow color is a vibrant blue from my Ultimate NYX palette. I want my eyeshadow to cover my entire lid for a big eye makeup look, so therefore I successively work my way up. This is a darker blue from my NYX palette to put in my globe line. The darkest blue I took from my Urban Decay on the Run palette in my outer corner. Meh. Because my concealer is empty, I took my foundation for my cut crease. I took away the excess foundation with some tops. This gold fluid foil from Hoem was the first thing I put on my cut crease to work as a base color for my golden sparkles. I attached the glitter with this mixing liquid from Makeup Store. This is a golden shimmer from Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit to put underneath my eyebrows for a highlight. This is a black oil-based cream from Butrix to make the clown makeup. I made the outline and then I just filled them in. I wanted another color in the middle, so therefore I took this brush and blended the black to be able to make an ombre effect later on. This red lipstick from Maybelline was the color I wanted on my lips and on my nose. To place some red sparkles, I used this mixing liquid again to place it on my lips and my nose. Da. The darkest blue I took in the bottom to continue with the vibrant blue from my NYX palette as a second layer. And the third was the same color I used for bronzing, which I made very strong to make a more creepy clown effect. Diamonds! To place at every black point around my eyes with this duo lash glue. I took the same glue and glued my lashes on. To make the black edges more clearer under my eyes, I used this glossy eyeliner from Isadora. 
As you can see in the next clip, it's a big difference. This is after, and this is before. I also outlined my lips with the eyeliner. I actually think the whole look looks more clean and better made with this little hack. And there we have the final look. So, post time. <laughs> That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I would love to know what you think of this makeup and the video so please give me a comment down below and I would be super happy if you click the like button and the subscribe button and I hope to see you next time. Bye! -bye. I wanna see your cheeks glow red, red, red. red. <laughs>